Got our first buffalo crossing here in the Wichita Mountains. He's just got to stay calm and do his thing. Oh my gosh, he's majestic. He's got a little beard. Quite the little afro. Look at him go. And he's going all the way there to his brothers and sisters in the distance. Be free. That is an American bison. That is an American bison. Wow. Good morning from the traveling turkeys. We are, where are we, babe? We are at the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge outside of Lawton, Oklahoma, uh, which is like in southwestern Oklahoma. And we're about to go on a hike. Wow, I'm so excited, babe. We're gonna do some creature reports and hopefully uh, get to see some more of the uh, Wichita's. Yes. All right. Happy trails. Happy trails. Wow, so what is the name of this waterfall, babe? The Sunset Pool. Sunset Pool. Clearly man-made. Clearly. We need to find the trailhead, so. I Are we looking for that trailhead? Yes. Nice. Not sure if it's, I saw a lady walking over there. This. We're a bit in a pickle here because our maps are washed out. All right. Our hike has commenced with some bouldering, which I guess is a fancy word for a really an unclear trail with just a whole lot of rocks instead of steps to get to where you need to be it's not the most difficult thing to do yet but i can see how it can get a little bit tiring after a while because if you get weary you might take the wrong step and miss all in all though this hike has commenced beautifully And while it is getting hot, it's nice to have a little shady patch here and there. Hey y'all, we got a slight change of plans. Looks like we're switching trails. We got up there. Uh, and that Elk Mountain Trail, and it was just way too unmarked, way too technical, and we aren't experts, so we decided to to uh, check out this Sharon Garden Wilderness Area. You can see there the sign, and uh, we bumped into a couple locals, and they told us that it is a nice, shady, straight path of a route, and uh, we got Mads there ready to plunge in, and we're gonna check it out, guys. All right, let's see if this one's any better. First fork in the road and we are choosing the right path for now and I see a stream we're not sure we're just kind of scoping out right now see what our options are and wow looks like we've hit a little body of water incredible the wind is just beautiful it's keeping us energized and I, I don't know if you'd want to life straw this water. I bet you, you could, but if it starts getting too hot, it's probably pretty nasty stuff. Wow, it's opening up. That's a good sign. He was saying we're gonna see some boulders. Oh my gosh, we made it y'all to the 
Oh, an apple, apple, and pear. apple and pear. Apparently, this is a. Uh, we're coming up here to some legendary uh, boulder figurines, kind of things. They've been nicknamed the bowl, the the pear and the apple. We're gonna and we're gonna get you guys a better glimpse of what this pear and apple looks like. Hear those fighter jets in the distance? I see one up there, right above us, straight up. Where? Right ahead. If you go up a little bit, you see him? Right there yonder, looks like a oh, bird. Oh yeah, I do see it. Yeah, but that is a Fort Sill. They're doing some air, <laughs> some air uh, drills. <laughs> what are those? Boulders. The pioneers used to ride these for miles. Ooh-wee! You can see that, feel that Oklahoma wind. Oh my gosh. It's incredible. We found it, y'all. There it is. The apple and the pear. Two of the most iconic boulder formations here in the Wichita Mountains. So cool. I like to think of myself as the uh, pear and Mads as the little apple. Hey y'all, we uh, we made it. We are finished our uh, first hike here in the Wichita's. Yes, we completed maybe half of the Post Oak Falls Trail, um, which is close to the Elk Mountain Trail. Um, because we're a bunch of turkeys, um, <laughs> we got to a part in the trail where it was mostly boulders, which you'll see in the video is beautiful great vistas of so neat the city and the rocky outcrops and all that good stuff um but it was going to involve a lot of bouldering and we were there with another couple and their dog and trying to figure out where the trail went because it was literally just a sea of boulders literally. um but we ran into another hiker on our way out of it coming back and she said oh yeah you just have to go through them it looks bad but um it's a lot easier uh it's once easier you get than past it. them yeah so but Oh well, better luck next time. We we could we might come back and do it again. Um, oh, we're back a doubt. here, but um, yeah, this trail was shady, which mm -hmm. was so nice because it's a hot one today. It is. Hold on, let's see if I can check. Uh, it's probably at least ninety five right now. Um, or my, maybe low nineties. It's actually only eighty seven. So eighty seven. Wow. But there's not a cloud in the sky. The sun is right over us. It's about noon. We learned so much in this hike. We learned really how to conquer different types of technical terrain. Uh, we got to test our gear out a lot. Um, everything performed great. I mean, we wore pants. A lot of the locals were wearing shorts, but I mean, if you're a yuppies, yuppies like us, I'd go with pants because it is thickened out there. Yeah, the trail was pretty overgrown um, with a lot of tall grass and stuff. And just because I know um, there's a lot of ticks and stuff in Oklahoma, I was like, better not risk it. And even with the heat, it wasn't bad to wear long sleeve and pants. It wasn't too bad. Not at all, guys. So um, hands down, one of my favorite hikes I've ever done. We will come back here in a heartbeat and see if we can conquer that sea of boulders next time. But yes. basically where we ended and turned around is where the footage of the uh, apple and the pear boulders were. That was kind of our like, you know, ending point there and uh, kind of our uh, reward after the hike. So until next time, guys, see Happy you later. Trails. Holy moly, guys, this has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever stumbled across. This is a prairie dog town. Check this out, guys. It's a full-fledged village where these little creatures basically have created their own little community. And when I say there's a bunch out here, there's probably a hundred hidden, but some are poking out. They're coming to visit us, guys. Lately, animals have been flocking towards the traveling turkeys. But these two are just showing us a whole lot of booty right now.
show you all real quick. This is an opening to one of their burrows. The circumference is about that of like a, uh, a liter soda bottle. Um, and it's it looks like it goes at least, from what I can see with the naked eye, about two feet in there. But I'm sure it goes much, much deeper than that. Let's see if we have any buddies poking out. And wow, do these guys have it good. When you enter their town, they got some rules here. If you harass them, $225 fine. If you feed these little fellas, $225 fine. You guys, these guys are protected here, you know? Do not mess with them. <laughs> their rules, their town, and they got a sheriff here watching out, and he already gave us the stink eye. We're getting too close, and I'm not getting fined today. Thank you.